we're at the tail end of Oshkosh 2013. You finally got a chance to get uh, get out on the air show line a little bit with the Batmobile. But let's talk about more important things. What's your year looking like? How are you surviving sequestration? What does uh, what does your air show future look like at this stage of the game? Well, as you said, it's it's been a rough year for air shows. Personally, I've lost eight shows this year oh from sequestration and the cancellation, so it's been a rough season, but we're surviving. Trying to get Dracula out there a little bit more, the new airplane. We've got it here at Oshkosh on display it, down at Lincoln Electric's booth, but, you know, the year's going all right. We're still trying to pick up some here and there, and we're really hoping next year's going to pick up a lot more, whether we have the jet teams back or not, and whether, you know, sequestration continues on, whatever happens. I think the air show industry will survive next year. Looking forward to much better year next year. What did it take to put track together? Oh, well, I guess I call it, that's my nine-year-long nightmare with that airplane. My dad and I designed it, drew it on a napkin type thing, and then Steve Wolf did the actual structural drawings and everything and did most of the major engineering, and then another friend, Chuck Krabinoff, he started the airframe. First two years, we worked on it pretty solid, but then after my father died, it kind of fell on the wayside, and we we're still trying to get it finished. And anyways, in the last three years, we've really been working on it hard. And the goal behind this airplane was to have something that had the look, sound, and appeal of the old 1920s and 30s barnstorming biplane, but yet some of the capabilities of the modern-day pitses and monoplanes. And I think we've accomplished that. It looks a lot like my old Waco mystery ship, but it's 20% smaller almost full span ailerons top and bottom. Uh, it's got the very first direct port fuel injected R985 Pratt & Whitney. It's putting out about 515 horse and of course to have something for everyone at the air show industry we're doing a vampire theme with it because that's very popular in the pop culture now and everything and it's of course it's called Dracula and I dress up as a vampire and we have glow-in-the-dark vampire teeth for the kids. A little something for everybody. I'm never happy with just doing anything like going out and just flying. I very rarely actually fly as myself. In my comedy routine I play Ben Wabnoski, the drunk that steals the airplane, and then, you know, Pirated Skies, Captain Cairo. I'm always playing different characters because I enjoy, you know, it's kind of like acting. You come out here and you portray these characters. Every act I go after, I view at the crowd. How can I entertain the crowd? The people that come out here, not just aviation people, but everybody at every air show that comes out, what can I do? to have something for everyone. And so that's why we were always coming up with different ideas and trying to raise the standards of air show. As air show performers, we have to compete with you know computers, TV, all the special effects and everything, video games, all the things that kids have nowadays. So I'm always trying to come up with things to get more younger people into aviation and pique their interest and watch the shows. I'm out here to entertain. Bingo. And that's going to be the key to everything from here on out. It's what's going to keep you booked when everybody's sitting back in the hangar wondering why nobody's calling. Exactly, exactly. I appreciate Kyle, it. we wish you nothing but the best of luck. We're looking forward to, uh, I have not seen Drac on the road yet, so I'm looking forward to catching up with it uh, sometime down the line. But more important, go out and have fun. Oh, I, I will very much. And yeah, we, uh, next one we got coming up is uh, Memphis, Tennessee. And then we head out to Sacramento, California for the National Capital Air Show. So people can catch us there. And of course, the website, franklinairshow.com. I keep trying to keep the schedule updated. And also Facebook, Franklin's Flying Circus. Thanks so much. Thank you. Aero TV is brought to you by since the early days of powered flight, pilots have struggled with landing in crosswinds. In fact, crosswinds and wind gusts cause more landing accidents than fog, thunderstorms, and icing combined. That's where the Redbird X-Wind SE comes in. By placing pilots in gusty crosswind conditions for extended periods of time, the X-Wind SE gives instructors all the time they need to teach the pilot the proper techniques for landing in crosswind conditions. For more information on Redbird X-Wind SE and Redbird's entire line of flight training devices, visit www.redbirdflightsimulation.com. Com.